board of the street, constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have created sins in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I have self-centered and virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to the people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You will alone and crucify Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, 
not only in Macedonia and in Germany, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord.
We are to live as God calls us through Scripture and the Church, not to just fulfill some of the laws as a checklist, but to live as He has called us in order to love God and to love our neighbor for His sake. If we follow the rules just to keep a checklist, then we've not gotten at the core of the law. When we follow the rules just because they are the rules, and when we, we follow them because they come from God, then we come into what God has meant us to be. We discover our goodness in our lives. Otherwise, it's too easy to keep the rules and miss the point of it all. For some people, it can even become an occasion of pride and self-congratulations that they are doing better than anyone else. More than 1,500 years ago, St. Augustine declared all kinds of actions might appear good without proceeding from the root of love. There is only one sure guide, he said. Once and for all, I give you this short command. Love, and then do whatever you will. He means taking a hard look at what is the reason behind everything that we do. a simple test, a question to ask in the innermost sanctum of our souls about everything we say and do. Are we saying something or doing something out of love for God and our neighbor or out of self-love? Does what this looks like, a good act, really cover all other motives, like building a name for ourselves, pride or self-interest. That's not good enough. This Mass tells us to have everything in place on the surface, and then we can seek forgiveness for what is beneath, the mercy of God. When we, because of our fallen human nature, we fall. But this Mass tells us that we must attend to what is beneath the surface. There is a wholesome Catholic spiritual practice that can help us. It's called the Daily Examine of Conscience. At the end of the day, just before you get into bed, we ask ourselves two questions. And first, where was God with me today? And we can let that question lead us to remember and thank God for His daily presence with us in so many ways, in Scripture, in the people we meet, in His intervention, intervention into the events of our day. The second question is, where was I not with God today? We can let that question honestly test whether what we did and said that day was the root in love of God and love of nature or not. When we examine what lies behind our actions in this way, we answer the call of the entrance antiphon today. Turn to the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His faith. We seek His faith because it is hard for us to even fulfill Jesus' two commands. Never mind all the rules that hang on. That is why Father Brandon prayed for us all today that God would give us the grace to make us love what you command. 
We need God's grace. We need God's help to love Him and our neighbor. <clears throat> Amen. Let us profess our faith.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, mind to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are the Holy Lord, and all you have created by the Holy praise. For the your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that in the rising of the sun with its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously and holy in the gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he put himself to the bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to the second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Lord, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you love to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body and one spirit of Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may attain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely from being in hell. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, and against the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, as William our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, our merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom we bestow the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command from the divine teaching and be here to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you, both upon our sins and on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, do you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us while eyes within them, that while we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Many of you may be aware that Pope Francis made a statement this past week on same-sex civil unions. I'm still awaiting uh, some kind of statement possibly to clarify that. But in the meantime, if you are curious and would like to learn more and have some clarification on that, I think Dr. Tim Gray at the Augusta Institute helped to give a beautiful explanation of what's going on here and to give us some reminders of the truths of our faith that in this very just personal comment of Pope himself, uh, he did not change church teaching uh, whatsoever. But if you are curious uh, about what Dr. Gray has to explain about this, we have posted this on the St. Leo Facebook uh, site and it's also on form.org. So I hope that you have a good uh, work and school week uh, coming up and God's blessings on all of you and your family. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, be our angel, defend us now. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares the devil. May God forgive him and come, we pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for fruitless.